me some protein because if we don't have it before we leave, we're gonna get hungry. Or nutmeg. This always feels like a coquito. Coquito. A little bit of nutmeg because we're festive. Y'all are ever struggling? So down to down, a protein shake, just add cinnamon, especially with vanilla, and it'll feel like a poquito, nutmeg, um, what is it? Eggnog. I need knee braces. I literally stretched them and strengthened them, but they're still not working. <sighs> Bro, what's up with my knees? Oh my guy, I honestly don't know what's up with my knees. But my legs are like pretty solid. Look at those quads. What the fuck? Ew, why does it look like that from above? Hang on. I didn't shake my legs, by the way, and I'm not ashamed of it. What? <sighs> my knees are just kind of fucking. I have really pointy knees. You see that? Look how pointy they are. I honestly don't know why my knees won't let me. I could have sworn I had a knee brace in here. I have no up. I have no knee brace. How the hell am I gonna continue this workout, bro? It's killer leg day. Give me a second.
this was a gym vlog and now i need protein because quite a killer like that it was already a bad start of today's vlog i woke up late as usual i needed a kickstart i was like literally planning on not going to the gym because it was too late and i know i gotta edit yesterday's vlogmas but you know what i'm not gonna do that today today is gonna be a lift me up vlog even if you wake up late i'm gonna make sure y'all know that you can still be motivated because even though i really don't want to be motivated i'm gonna make sure y'all are so if y'all ever wake up wrong side of the bed not wanting to go to the gym sometimes you don't even have to go as hard as me i did not want to go to the gym but yeah I went hard and did a lot. And usually when I don't really want to do anything, I usually do the Stairmaster and then I call it a day. And that's okay too. But today, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me pump it up. Lighting's not good. I don't look good. But it's okay. When do I stop? It's coming out. Uh. We're gonna do a quick grocery haul. A lady said we couldn't film in there, which is odd because I always film in there. Okay, here we go. Got some spinach. I don't know how to pronounce this. Spinach torolini. Is that how you say it? Spinach torolini. We got some jalapenos because tonight for dinner we're having taco night. We got some oat milk because we are out. We're always out of this. Like I can never find like a, a big stock of this for cheap, you know? Green grapes. We've been snacking a lot and we really need, you know, the right thing. Pomegranate seeds. Uh, some chicken. Ika? Ika, samosas. If y'all remember, we had the pumpkin samosas during the fall and oh my god, babe, was it not like the pumpkin samosas? Weren't they like divine? So I already know it's gonna be good. Got some apples because I, I got the pomegranate seeds and the apples to do a Christmas aroma along with the oranges. And the only like festive thing I could find there was the oat nog, non-dairy oat beverage. It's like eggnog. This was like the only festive thing I could possibly find. And more tortillas since we're having taco night. And lastly, just garlic salt because we needed it. We just ran out of garlic salt. And that's basically it. I still gotta go to Costco. We need bananas, green beans, and all that. Just gotta stock up, stock up. But this was just like a quick restock, so it's cool. correct way i mean that's not bad i just i just feel like my hand movement isn't as smooth
I mean, this is a better movement. I just need the bigger knife. Look how more minced that is. Look at that. What? Look at me being a big chef. Uh-oh. Waterworks. Waterworks, it's coming. <laughs> again, I will repeat. I said it once and I'll repeat it again. Why do we say pussy like it's a weak insult, but yet it can literally pop out a whole ass human being and then bounce back. But yet when we say grow some balls, it means like strengthen up. But yet if you flick them, they can't handle it. Something to think about. Next, onion. I'm very impatient when it comes to peeling onions, bro. Actually, not really. Onions, it's easy. I am very impatient when it comes to peeling garlic. I love real garlic more than minced garlic, like in the jar. But yo, I am so lazy that I don't do it. Question of the day. Do y'all prefer cutting onion or do y'all prefer cutting garlic? Me? I choose the onion. However, there's a lovely chef on TikTok going around that's teaching us little chefs how to be a big chef. And she did just teach me how to properly cut and mince a garlic clove, so I'm happy about that. But Gordon Ramsay taught me how to cut an onion. I'm, I'm like saying that as if he came to the house. I'm trying so hard not to like mm, cave in. I really don't want onions to beat me. I don't want to like cry over onions. I want to be that bitch that, you know, is so strong that it doesn't tear her up. But your girl has sensitive eyes. As you can see, I did this thing where I just put like aluminum foil so I can separate it. And I thought that was pretty smart of me. Props to me. Give myself a pat on the back. I am so smart. My eyes, however, can hang. Look how I dice these, bro. I hope I taught you guys. I didn't even explain it, but I hope like my gestures kind of taught you guys how to properly mince because this is the best mincing I've ever done. That's dope. Okay, kitchen's clean, sink done, dishes done, stuff in the dishwasher, food is put away, onions are prepped, we ate, it is now, what time is it, 4.53, I gotta edit, I also gotta take a shower, I also gotta put this diffuser on, I was told that if you put lavender essential oils in the air in a diffuser, nasties, the nasties like I talked to y'all about, the nasties are unlikely to come because they don't like the smell and I think other bugs don't like the smell of uh, lavender, but let's go take the shower. Okay, hello, it is five. Can I show it? What the hell? Currently 502. Shower was great. Obviously, it's time to edit and if y'all know and know my, you know, vlogs lately, you know editing takes a hot minute. You guys are gonna see me in a couple hours as I go to the office. Uh, let's get this going. Gonna have to say bye to the camera for a couple hours. It is now nighttime. As always, y'all already know, the editing takes a little toll on me. As you can see, I'm posting my show Sunday vlog, 18 minutes left. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna start cooking, not cooking, start are gonna start making dinner. Also, my light over here is being dumb. So basically, I'm pressing the off button and it's changing color, which is supposed to happen when I press the M button. Now see that, the M button, but the off button, it's still doing that. And then the P, when I hold it, is supposed to go brighter or dimmer but it's now just changing color and like this didn't drop this is this is still in good condition so i don't know why it's doing that and it's pissing me off so i gotta unplug it and that sucks hella bad and see if i can make some tacos because sorry the water's boiling but i'm trying to see if i can make some tacos because um our uh, last taco bowl meal prep is here and i wanted to have a taco night with the new tortillas so we got that Trader Joe's today. It's content though. <laughs> content, baby. What on earth is that? I just made a, like one of those peanut butter and jelly things. Why the hell? <laughs> I, I put the tortilla in the toaster and it just kind of, it kind of got a little bloated on me. Yo, it looks like those like peanut butter and jelly things we got as kids. What? That's crazy, dude.
taco monday i should have done this tomorrow since it's technically tuesday but you know what i did hear a saying that if you make your favorite dinner on mondays you know because everybody wants to see mondays it's like you know like the bad days or like the tiring days or the grouchy days they say that if you make your favorite uh dinners on monday nights it'll like start up and kickstart your week more so it kind of feels like a weekend you know and i think that's smart you know right there Mm -hmm. I think that's smart. We're gonna mound down on this. Isn't it ironic? I had chips and guac yesterday night. Now I'm having tacos this night. This is looking divine. They're so small though. Look how cute. Hang on, let me get a cuter one. This one's mine because I don't really like tomatoes. And yes, it's confirmed. You can put tortillas in the toaster. I don't know why, but I never thought I could do that. Hey. Oh, that's the pie. Movie night once again. I think this is like our uh, comfort night thing, isn't it? It's our comfort nights, you know? Even when we gotta go to bed, we'll still watch a movie. We've been on a Spider-Man streak. I don't know why we didn't watch Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, and then The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 before we watched No Way Home. Like, we were saying that, remember? Mm -hmm. We were saying we should watch. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, journal talk of the day or of the night as I end off the night. I wrote down that my goals are based on my passions. I'm fortunate enough to have had passions that still stick with me to this day. My goals are what I want to succeed most in life. My identity was what my passions are. My main goals are being one of the best in the game when it comes to the following. Karate or martial arts, dance, fashion, cinema, directory, photography, modeling, traveling, learning, teaching, instructing, growing, mentally, evolving, designing, and creating. My goals are meant for me and they are the biggest route to my happiness. They define what I love and that's the best way to have your goals. Basically, my goals are like practically everything I love to do. I feel like that's the best way to have goals, you know what I mean? Because if you set up goals that really just don't make you happy, you're kind of setting yourself up for everything else but happiness. Feel what I'm saying? So I feel like when you set up your goals and it really it really has to do with like revolving around what makes you happy, your hobby, or just like plan out whatever is just fun for you you know like something you just want to do for the rest of your life and that you just would never get tired of i feel like that's the best way to set your goals so if you're having trouble setting up your goals or you have literally have no idea what you want to do in life or what you want to set up as a goal just like take a really long process to like think about what do you enjoy doing the most and what is something that it can be taken serious or that you can take serious or what is something that you know you can put your passion into it because like a goal is not a goal without passion. Does that make sense? How is that something you want to fulfill and succeed in if it's not a pa if you're not going to be passionate about it? So I feel as if that you can it can only be kind of a goal for you if you're going to stay passionate. Not forcing yourself to be passionate. It's like you can you want to be passionate. Yeah, that's journal of the night. I got to go to bed. So I'll see y'all in happy vlogmas day 20. I'll see y'all in vlogmas day 21. And then, oh my goodness, it's five more days till Christmas. Well, four more days until like the Hispanic kind of celebrating Christmas. Happy vlogmas day 20. And I will see you guys on vlogmas day 21. Have a good motherfucking night.